All right, glad you're back with us. This is Heath Close with Build Box, and I want to welcome you to Part 9 of the Make Your Own Game series. In Part 8, we learned about creating a coin shop and putting a way for players to spend in-game currency on different characters. And in Part 9, we are going to learn about exporting our game to both iOS and Android. BuildBox can export to multiple platforms, but before we can export, we need to add a few things in the project settings. Way back in part one, I mentioned briefly about the settings button in the upper right. Let's click on that button now. We see three tabs in this window. General, where we would add our final specifics like an icon and our bundle ID for the App Store. We see a controllers tab and the Advertisement tab. Let's go over these in more detail. The Advertisement tab is where you would add your different keys from any ad networks you set accounts up with. Here's where you would select your target export option and paste your keys into the appropriate slots and set the priorities for how you want those ads served to your users, which we will cover in another series. The Controllers tab allows you to specify controller commands, pretty straightforward. And the General tab has the finishing touches we need to pack this thing up. This image slot here is for your game's icon. You can name your game here. Here are some options the creator cooked up for us way back in part one, and also a place to revise your game version if need be. Below that is the necessary information needed by different platforms to get your game up and running in their marketplace, including the game's name that appears under your icon. These options change as you select your different export targets. So let's set up an iOS export by naming the game and putting in our bundle ID. Getting a bundle ID takes an Apple developer account and some setup, but we will cover that in another series. Once we have the necessary information to put in, we hit OK and go up to File and choose our export target. Let's choose iOS. BuildBox will then export all the necessary files into a folder for us, all ready for compiling in Xcode, which we will cover in another series. And then if we wanted to export an Android version, we just bring up the settings window again, select the Google Play Store as our target, Put in the necessary information, go up to File and select Export, choose Android, and BuildBox will prepare a folder with all the necessary files in it for compiling in the appropriate development tool, but we will cover that in another series. There are more platforms we could export to, and there is much more for you to discover in BuildBox. I'll give you a peek at some of those things in the next video where I'll cover a few tips, tricks, and hacks. So come on back for that one, and I will see you in part 10.